All right, here's the explanation how to do custom PCB system uh, 3.0 TFSI engine. It's pretty much you can do on uh, first generation or second generation uh, supercharged motor. So you can see the original picture of the original PCB system with the spider holes going to the valve covers and suction side or going to the supercharge inlet. Also, next to the spider holes, you will see the uh, plugged piece, plastic piece. This is the one in the picture. As you can see, I, I drilled hole and used the GB welder and 10 a.m. fitting. It's a half inch thread NTP and by 10 a.m. So I GB weld uh, holds pretty good. Never had any issue. Used it for a year. So this is the one of the mods you gotta do it. Okay, this is the location of the plugged piece. It's in the right corner in this picture, and the left side is uh, your spider holes, which is connecting to your valve covers and going to PCV system. So you have to pull it out, that piece in the right corner, make a hole, and GB weld the fitting. And pretty much that's it. You just put it back in, and it's all set. And um, I'll show you in a minute uh, another thing. So, as you can see, uh, that's the uh, piece I did it with the 10 a.m. And next to it is your uh, PCV inlet from, for the supercharge. What I did, I just filled with the GB weld and wait for one day. It's dry. Uh, so that way, air not going to pass through that piece. So we pretty much kept the inlet for the supercharge. Over here you can see I already installed the uh, uh, 10 a.m. fitting, which is 90, uh, to 10 a.m. holes. Uh, I run holes to the, pretty much if you're standing in the front of the engine, to the left side. And if you have chance, try to run with the pitch everything down. My catch can locate it on the uh, uh, left side and the bottom, uh, pretty much next to the, what is the drain. For the radiator so that's where my cage can try to run you know lowest as possible yeah, so that way it's easy to uh, drain all the crap from the cage can as you can see the line is i put the insulation on top of it which, um, because turbo it's next to it so in your case you put you probably don't you don't have to do that pcv inlet as you can see, it's a uh, GB weld, so we block the flow to the supercharge. My theory is if you do a dual pulley, you're increasing the speed of the compressor uh, blades. That way you increase the negative pressure. That's why many people have problem with the PCV system. So better, you know, redirect this. Here's another thing, uh, this is the metal PCV system from older 3.2 TFS, uh, FSI engine, uh, natural aspirated early engine, I think it's 2005 or 6, A4, A6. So I'm using my car, first of all it's uh, metal, second one it's got metal gaskets, so you will never have had leak uh, coolant into your PCV system. As you know, many people have issue with because cooling have more pressure. That's why it's cooling going to the your engine and it can be really bad damage. So as you see, it's pretty nice valve. And so this valve, if you want to do it, it's required separate different spider holes. This is, this is the one right here. And also required GB weld the fitting. This piece, metal piece we required uh, 10 millimeters longer bolts uh original pulse from the plastic pcv is too short for this uh, metal one so make sure you get the different balls i don't have picture of that fitting so pretty much what i use uh, from evap one of the holes plastic holes i use the male right female sorry and i glue the 10 a.m. fitting into female uh, piece. Right here, I use the brass piece 
it's a half inch thread was uh, GB weld to the plastic and I just put an A 10 a and 90 on it so one side is uh, a half inch thread and another side is uh, 10 a and fitting so this is the uh, 3.2 PCV pressure valve what you have to do, do you have to do same thing GB weld 10 a and fitting inlet and outlet that way you can run anywhere in the engine bay whatever it's you know you have access to install it so yeah that's what you have to use it to stabilize your negative pressure and hold your system so here is another picture you can see the fit uh, 10 a.m. fittings already GB weld and ready to go so this is the spot a friend of mine found the best to connect it after throttle body or before compressor blades. So he used this location. You have to machine a little bit uh, compressor, I mean the supercharge, to get that fitting in and weld it. Here is another angle. So you can see the fitting was weld, but to get to it you have to machine like in this picture you can see it's machined as a circle it's about uh, three quarter I think we take the uh, aluminum out and then we weld the piece so in this picture you see catch can uh, this catch can cost thirty dollars plus and Aliexpress it's really good quality you have a uh, drain on the bottom pretty much you can connect solenoid valve and just press the button and dump it to the floor, right? Anytime you want it, you sit in the light or something, no problem. It's really good quality. Uh, you got the uh, bronze 200, I think, or 150 microns uh, filter. And it's overall good equipment. Good piece for, for the price. Over here, just draw the direction, the way everything is set up whatever i just told you before guys so you can see in the picture engine valve cover spider hose goes to the valve covers and to the pcv system and from the pcv system you run a new hose the one we're talking before to catch can and from catch can back to the pressure regulator pcv system and to the supercharge simple over here you can see this is my personal compressor i just weld the pcv inlet and the reason is because I'm running the turbo and I don't need this inlet at all. So I'm never going to use it. And as a turbo, you understand, uh, it spools up. It's built up the pressure inside the compressor uh, uh, body. And it's going to push all the air back to the PCB. That's why, I, in my case, I have to. The only thing is, uh, in my car, because I have a turbo uh, inlet, uh, for the PCV is uncalled air intake so it's pretty much before the turbo so uh, it's going from the PCV to the catch can and from catch can to the cold air intake in your case it will be with the dual pulley whatever the supercharge if you're using it it's gonna be after throttle body inlet and uh, yeah I mean I use it I use it already for two years and I love it. Even my previous cars was similar setup for the PCV system, turbo cars. And I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you like this video or not. Thank you.